Hey everyone, it's Dave here from Band of Badgers. And this what's in the box, we have some more Bard Sung. This is part of the Kickstarter exclusive. These are part of the stretch goals. This is the Distant Depths. Now, if you haven't already checked out, we do have a playlist. Check it out. Um, it should it should come up on screen soon. Um, we have a variety of uh, Bard Sung related videos. Do check them out if you're interested in, in, in uh, Bard Sung. It's a great game. Pick it up. <laughs> um, now we've had one of these boxes before and this that was the upper levels and it's kind of nice to see that it didn't just go lower levels <laughs> so it's nice that they've done that um, I really appreciate that well done Steamforge now um, if you're not familiar with Bard Sung um, this is the wrong video go check out the core box video you'll like it I just spat all over the box <laughs> I'm doing really well on this one um, and this is some extra kind of dungeon terrain to make your game stand out, really pop out from the board. And there's some, there's some really nice pieces in here. So on the back, they've got these, these lovely black and white presentation boxes. They're really nice, really strong, really sturdy. I've just knocked my keyboard over. There we go, put that back. <laughs> there we go. So on the back, we have some of this. Let's bring this in. There we go. And this says Bard Song. To truly immerse oneself in a story one must first set the scene. And what, uh, sorry, and when that story requires entering an exotic underground realm inhabited by strange creatures, one might expect to encounter more unusual terrain. So we do. So, in the core box of Bard Sung, if you haven't already, go check out the video. Most of the tokens that you see are cardboard. In here, these are the stretch goals. Here, they uh, printed them, or molded them, or whatever they're called. And here, we have a really nice selection of items. Wow, there is a lot. Um, so we're gonna start in, I think last time I start, started in the top corner, let's do that again. So these are, again, just to help you define your game, this is, and, and all of these could be, once you've painted them, you don't have to paint them, but once you've painted them, you could be using these in any tabletop game, D&D, uh, Pathfinder, whatever you want to do. But look at that, that is a broken well. And I wonder if there's ooze that's gonna come out of that. There's there's some ooze in Bard Song. I'm a big fan of ooze, but I hate it when they're chasing me. <laughs> if you didn't know, Bard Song as well, you don't need to be a GM. All the players are player characters, okay? The game system has a mechanic where all the monsters, you just follow the instructions on the card, and they will tell you what they're going to do, what the next action is, and who they're going to attack. And what they're going to do when they attack. So you don't need to have a player who's always the GM. So that's a, ni that's a nice piece. Now, we've seen this before. This is a lever, but this one is slightly different. Look, it has this... I mean, is this is this ice? I haven't got to the point in the game where I need to use a lever, but this one looks like it's covered in gook. Or... It's frozen. I think it's frozen because these bits are sharp. I think they're supposed to be like icicles. So you get two of those. And again, this is all just to dress your game. I haven't yet had to use these. So I'm not sure if I have to be instructed or if I'm just supposed to put them on the cards. But look at the texture on some of these. Look. So this is a tree stump covered in uh, moss and mushrooms. But look at the texture on the base. That is really, really nice. So those, you get four of these, four of these little stumps. Here, this is why I think it's ice. I mean, that has a bunch of frozen icicles, I think. I don't think that's a, pit, a, a spike pit trap. It could be, but I don't think it is. I think those are ice, and they're sharp. But paint, if you painted those up, all of these have to be primed first. If you paint these up, that would look really nice as a set of icicles. In, again, any game. So you get two of those. This thing, I'm, I'm not really sure what it is. It's obviously some kind of elevation, but you get um, you get these bits here, and I think it's to help you reach a higher point. Or are you supposed to put something on top of it, maybe? I'm not sure. I don't. I don't know. Does that go on there? So again, I've not yet had to use this. So I wonder 
what I'd be used for. Anyway, it's a lovely piece. Now, in the book, we've mentioned doors, if you've seen uh, any of the other videos. We've mentioned the doors before. Inside the Bardsung box, all the doors and all the features are um, have cardboard tokens. And one of the cardboard tokens, because when you get you lay down a dungeon tile, it might have four exits. You, put, you can put doors on, you can put locked doors on, but you can also put a dead end. So if you need to end a corridor, or if the door... If there's no door, basically, you can put a cardboard token down. Now, rather than a cardboard token, you can use this. And this is lovely. This is just a piece of ruined wall. So plain on one side, you've got brick and a bit of plaster, maybe. And on the other side, you've got these vines, which are just growing through, which is a lovely detail. Look at that. That is, that is really, really nice. So you get four of those. Really, really nice to see. Um, this one, this one's quite interesting. So this is, there's four of these, if I can get this thing out. Here we go. So you get four of these ones, they're all the same. But if you take a closer look, so this is kind of like mud, but there is skulls in the middle. Look at that one. So again, I don't know if that is just a bit of washed up rubble, is that a sewer? Is that a river? Is that just mud? But something has put them there. So you get four of those. And again, if you were to paint that up, lovely piece of terrain for your any tabletop game. And then these four, which are actually so simple, but I actually I actually love these. This is a pool of whatever a pool of goo. It could be a pool of tar. It could be water, it could be swamp water, it could be an ooze, which is laying flat, a black pudding, that kind of thing. Just bubbling away. Maybe you could be a put it in a fountain, it could be a pond. It's a pond in the rain. <laughs> so you get four of those. And I, I like those. I've been trying to uh, collect those kind of those kind of bits from my my dungeon train. So if those of you who, who know, uh, those of you who don't know, check out some of our gaming videos. We use lots of minis and terrain. We use a camera to kind of zoom straight in. Um, this is nice. This is some kind of forge area. Now, I've not had to use this yet in game. And I'm hoping it is what I think it is. I hope it is a bit where you can kind of see there's a mold for a sword. I hope it means that that is an upgrade point. Now, you can upgrade uh, during a rest period during the, in the game itself. But I wonder if you find this, if there's like a card that says you find a forge, that you can kind of plonk this down. But this is really detailed. It's got texture. It's got tiny amount of details everywhere. It is really nice. It's a really nice piece. Oh, I just noticed it's that on the back. You can imagine that being like a, I don't know, maybe tin, some kind of chimney. But on the back it's, it's cracked. They've put a repair job on there. That is nice. Okay, so you get two of those. Again, not had to use those in game yet. This one is a little bit strange. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like maybe a pit trap. Um, it's definitely some kind of broken tile. These are the normal tiles. And this one is, is broken. It's just the mud or dirt underneath, I think. Maybe it's supposed to be a grave. Maybe there's buried treasure there. I don't know. It's just an unusual piece. I like it. I like that a lot. There you go. So you get two of those. And then finally, in this one, we have some more doors. And again, we've got this effect around it. Now we've seen these doors, if you check out the other videos. Um, it, is, it is exactly the same door, because it's got these bits on top. But I think it's frozen. It could be magic. But I think it's supposed to be frozen door. Don't forget, this is supposed to be the distant depths. So what is behind the frozen door? But look at it. You can see as the light is picking this up. Look how deep these minis are. The detail on this. Look. I think it doesn't have um, wood texture on this one. But you can see it has like the rivets 
or the studs. Look at that. That would be really nice to paint. You could kind of do the bricks different colours. You could do like um, some green damp weathering kind of thing coming up. Or just, oh, you could or you could do like snow effect because of the ice. Like a frosted glaze over the top. That would be nice. So, yeah, you get two of those doors. Really, really nice to see. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've lost my voice. There we go. So, that is it. That's that's what they are. This was a Kickstarter exclusive. I hope that um, Steamforge, <clears throat> when Bardsung does come out, which is going to be in April 2022, um, that you do go and check this out, that they do make these available because they are lovely pieces. They are really, really nice. So, if you like the video, do let us know in the comments below. Do share it with your friends. Get that out across socials. Do help us to boost up our numbers. We're trying to do what we can on our subscriptions, but every little bit helps. And until next time, stay safe, be good. See you soon. Bye-bye.